folks, it's Matt Conway, part of Texas Routes, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And we're big fans of hire right, train right, and treat people right. We've been talking about that for a long time, and we've had some great success with it. One of the ways that we have great success with it is we coincide our validations with that same type of philosophy. You want to set the expectations up for, for your new people, and then you want to validate that they've met those expectations, and then reward people, new people, and existing people for when they meet those expectations, or especially when they exceed it. So validations are a huge part of that. Let's tell you about what we do. We're talking about turnover and retention in Fort Wayne. The first thing that I think about is Matt Cobb and his legendary orientations. I think that it all starts there. We set the expectation up really early on with the interview process, making sure people understand that they have to know our menu. We give them a menu to study before they even do the orientation. During the orientation, we stress Ken Taylor's top 10, we go over number one, server knowledge, we talk about that to a great length. And then we give them an expectation of what training is gonna be like and what we expect from them and what the validation is gonna be like, we let them know from day one. At Fort Wayne, how do you guys do server validations? So for our servers, once they're done with their day four, they get set up with a manager on when they come in to do their manager validation. They do a mock uh, serving with them, so they'll go through the whole process of how they would with the table. So essentially, if you're sitting at the table, you're acting like a guest? Absolutely. So what we do is um, we act like we're, we're a first time guest there. We ask all sorts of questions um, about the menu, about different steak cuts, about um, different recipes maybe. Um, you know, just to get server knowledge and make sure that they know um, that they could answer any question that they can about um, anything that's on our menu. So in this part of the manager validation, John will be taking Shane's order and Shane will be watching to make sure he suggests um, upselling, repeating back steak temps, and repeating back the orders. Yeah, I'll go ahead with the uh, six ounce sirloin. The uh, six ounce sirloin? Yeah. Alright. And how would you like your hand cut steak? Uh, let's go ahead medium. Medium, so high peak center? Yeah. Alright, you can get two bits of size. Uh, so this is the part of the manager validation at the end when Shane took notes throughout on the good, what to review, to go over with John at the end. So, <clears throat> you've seen how we do our server validations here with the manager uh, gets served by the uh, potential server, the server candidate. Do you feel like our server validations can help you as the new service manager from Marion, Indiana? Do you think they could help you keep uh, low turnover? I think that your server validations are very important. Um, I think it makes your servers more knowledgeable and it gives them the opportunity to spend time with management and make them better. Awesome. Thank you. Good. Hey, tell us about that server training. All right, our server training, um, our servers first start with a menu knowledge class, and then they do four follows with our server trainers. Um, and then they do a food running shift, a host shift to get the expert experience with the table numbers. And then they go behind the bar for a couple hours, get the experience with the drinks, and see how we do things back there. Um, and then after all the training follows, the trainers tell me if they're doing good to go, then I'll set them up with a validation. Do they have to take the test? Yes, they do. They have to take a server test, uh, the bar test, and then a menu test with me. So I make sure that they do good on that, and then they'll be ready for the validation. Awesome. So when it comes to doing the validation, can you describe what, what do you schedule? How does that look? So me and a manager sit down, and then the server trainee actually waits on us. It could be with real food or mock food, but they come up and show us their stuff, and then we tell them if they're doing okay or what they need to work on, and then hopefully send them on their way to start actually serving. Hi guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Christine. I'll be your server today. Can I start you off with anything to drink, like a margarita or ice cold beer? Really good job, especially with your enthusiasm and your greeting. I loved your smile. Uh, just make sure to say something specific, especially with the margaritas or ice cold beer. So next time, just be like, want an ice cold Bud Light or I want to start off with hurricane margarita. It's my favorite. It's really good. So you want to try that again for us? Okay. Hi folks, how y'all doing today? Good. Good. My name is Christine Albeer, server today. Can I start you off with a legendary margarita or ice cold beer? My personal favorite is a hurricane margarita. It's really, really good. So thanks for watching our video on validations. How does validations affect your turnover? Well, I'll tell you. <clears throat> well, if you're gonna hire right, train right, and treat people right, then set the expectation, validate that they've met the expectation, and then reward people for meeting the expectations and definitely reward people for blowing away that expectation so thank you very much for watching our video 
we're going to leave off with some of the things that we do reward people here for meeting and meeting their expectations. Thanks again for watching. Every year we have our awesome AV Awards where we celebrate all the victories of our employees and you know we posted some of the highlights. Here we have our Employee of the Month flag. Employees of the Year. Y'all have Willy tables in your restaurant? Well, we have Employee of the Year tables. Here you can see one of my favorites from 2013. Maybe you can, if it'll focus. There it is, maybe. There we go. And here's our legend wall. They have a legend wall at Texas Rail Support Center. We have a legend wall in Fort Wayne. So it's my understanding that as part of the house, uh, TC, that you make servers actually work at the host stand as part of their training program, correct? And they have to validate with you um, before they even get to move on to their normal server validation. So uh, why do you guys do that? And what's the benefit? It gives uh, the servers like a background of what the host stand actually does. So that way they have an understanding of each individual position. So that way, you know, if something does happen and we do something for a certain reason, they know why. And they're not just like, oh, why did you do that? We did it. We do everything for a reason, and it's important that they understand each position and how each position works. So, can you give me some examples of some common server mistakes that could affect the performance of the kitchen? Absolutely. Um, some common server mistakes are ringing a steak in medium rare instead of medium well. Um, servers not knowing the difference between a roadkill a smothered chicken and just a regular smothered. Um, another one is them just simply ringing in the wrong steak. They ring in 16 ounce sirloin instead of 16 ounce ribeye. Awesome, thank you. So what happens when those mistakes, like what happens to the kitchen when somebody rings in a 16 ounce ribeye instead of a 16 ounce sirloin? Uh, well, we gotta find the server and correct it and then they have to re-put the correct steak on and that holds that that ticket back and causes longer ticket times not only for that table and those guests but for other tables and guests as well. Oh, I know this video is about server training and server validation but I want all of you to know that all of my hosts are validated and they kick ass. Is there anything else you'd like to add about server validations and employee turnover? Um, I just think that um, another good part of validations is when they're spending time with the managers or even different managers when they do like their mock and um, do it with uh, different servers that they can pick up steel material, uh, pick up little uh, tips on um, how to upsell um, and how to uh, get their story points in. Uh, that makes it a little easier to think something they might not have heard of, but with being with five or six different servers, with being with managers, they can give them those clues to be able to be more effective, uh, to have you know a higher uh, uh, guest average, and to put more money in their pockets that way. So um, I think that that's, that's why I like doing them, because I like to hear where they started, and then I like to check up and see where they where they are a couple of weeks or a month down the road uh, to see how well they you know how far they've come and then you can give tips on how to make those better. That was an excellent answer. Could you say that again in ten seconds? No. <laughs> All right.